Hi, I'm Mike, KD2KOG, part of the technical support staff at SDR Play. As I mentioned and outlined in my introductory SDR Connect video, SDR Connect has three main areas, the left, the upper right, and the lower right. Adjusting the scale is one part of SDR Connect's graphical user interface, but there's so much more. In this video, I will explain and walk you through rearranging the graphical elements of SDR Connect. Let's adjust the scale between the panels shown. The adjustment is for the three main areas, the left, the upper right, and the lower right. To make this adjustment, left click and hold your mouse on the separator. A double arrow will appear. Vertical double arrows are for dragging up and down, and horizontal double arrows are for dragging left and right. You can undock, redock, rescale, and reposition any tabbed panel. SDR Connect will display an anchor when making any graphical layout change to specific sections. Remember the sections are left, upper right, and lower right, or free floating undocked. You can move a tab section as its own free floating window and rescale it. You can move a window to another area of SDR Connect back into a fixed tab position, or you can have the window visible, not tabbed, but anchored to the top, bottom, left or right of the parent selected window. SDR Connect will display an anchor when making any graphical layout change to specific sections. Again, left, upper right, and lower right. Let me demonstrate all three starting with the first option. Free floating. Click the top title or the title of the tab you want to float. If selecting via the tab, the tab will turn blue. For this example, I will select the AUX SP. While left click and holding, move your mouse. An anchor will appear. Do not select an anchor point, just make sure the anchor appears. Release your left mouse button. You can free float any tab section of SDR Connect. Moving a tabbed element from one area to another, click the top title or the title of the tab you want to move. If selecting via the tab, the tab text will turn blue. In this example, I will move the diversity panel on the lower right side over to the main left area. While left click and holding, move your mouse. An anchor will appear. When the placement area becomes blue, release your left mouse button. Untabbed, visible, and anchored. Click the top title or the title of the tab you want to display. If selecting via the tab, the tab text will turn blue. In this example, I will anchor the AUX SP below the primary SP. While left click and holding, move your mouse. An anchor will appear. Select the area you want to anchor the panel, either above, below, to the left, or to the right. As I said, I will anchor this below. In this final example, I will demonstrate SDR Connect's graphical user interface options using all the functions that I outlined earlier using dual monitors. This is not specific to a dual monitor setup, but SDR Connect can certainly take advantage of a multi-monitor system.
I hope that you have found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section. I'll see you in the next video. 7-3.